Hello, I'm at 165 Planters Creek Road in Fletcher, Royce Clay, Royce's Tree Service. Thanks for having me over. I knocked and let him know I was going to be out here. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, so you had mentioned in your email a tree on the uh, evergreen on the right side of the house is running into the house. Well, it's the left side. Um, and yeah, that's a clear removal. Pruning that thing is going to look terrible. And if we remove it, its neighbor, this guy, is also going to look terrible. So I would suggest getting rid of both of them. It will leave a lot more room in the, <laughs> in the, it, it, around the house. It'll just open the house up a whole lot. Um, here's a Bradford pear. Remove it, this whole tree, and remove this Bradford pear, this whole tree. Finally, remove these shrubs. Yes, I am recommending you remove all six of these specimens. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Grind the stumps out and replant or don't. Um, Bradford pears are just fundamentally flawed. Poor architecture and they will fall apart sooner or later. They all do. This is inevitable. Those cracks and the heavy wood, they just break in half. And they are just a maintenance nightmare after that because you're just gonna have to spend money over and over again. Um, additionally, I'm not just gonna tell you to remove everything. <laughs> uh, this walnut tree on the side of the house needs to be off the house. We can retain that tree, get it off the house, and keep a shade bearing tree near your house. The crepe myrtle here stays like it is, it's fine. Um, I really don't usually just recommend removing everything, but in this community, I've been here before, they planted way too many Bradford pears, and these green giants are way too big for their space and will look bad if pruned. These guys serve no purpose. Take them out. Um, this will inevitably uh, decrease your maintenance costs in the long run. As far as the erosion control on the back bank goes, I think I'm going to refer you to BB Barnes because they're a really great landscape company in the area who I've worked with a lot. And uh, they can probably pick out the right plants uh, that would do well on that shady slope back there. I don't think you have a whole lot to be concerned about. There's um, there's a lot of trees growing there already, and I didn't see any evidence of recent big erosion. Uh, leaving all the trees that you can back there is good, and you've been doing that, And uh, but I don't think there's any real uh, urgency to that. It's a good idea to take care of it by planting some more uh, plants, but in the meantime, I'd say uh, take out the Bradfords, take out these bushes, take out these bushes, get a clean slate. Uh, the stump grinding will be done, everything. Or there won't be any things to look at up here that are uh, uh, inevitable problem trees in the long run. Um, and we can plant trees up here too, but I would probably say after we get all this dirty work done, you get BB Barnes to plant the front yard with some more appropriate shade bearing trees, uh, maybe even some edible stuff that uh, you could enjoy. Like the neighbors have this little uh, plum tree, I think, over here. Anyway, thanks a lot for having me over. Royce Clay, Royce's Tree Service.